Hi, this is Doug from MergeMetrics.com, and in this video we're going to continue setting up our Redbubble account, and in this one we're going to edit our cover image. If you're not already logged in, you simply have to log into your Redbubble account, go to Account Details, and from there click Edit Cover Image. And you can see here that we have the limitations of 2400 pixels by 600 pixels, and it needs to be either a JPEG or a PNG. So we're going to use a free tool called Canva, which you can find at canva.com. Go ahead and log in. If you haven't already got an account, you can sign up with Google, Facebook, or sign up with just your email. I have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. And then we want to create a design. And we want to use custom dimensions. And it was 2400 by 600 pixels. And click Create Design. Canva has a whole lot of um, preset formats that you can use. Uh, many of these are free, some of them are premium. If you uh, end up using one of the premium ones, just uh, be aware that you will have to pay for a um, an account to, to Canva. Um, you could cancel it as soon as you're finished, uh, but as you can see there are a lot, a lot of free options. So it depends on what your store is going to be based on, if you're going to have a general store or if you're going to have um, something like a, a specific niche store, you may want to pick one of these. It's a good place to start. And then from there, you can um, customize by changing any of the uh, photos that you see here or any of the fonts. You can change the text. It's, it's really a cool tool. It's very useful. And um, you can even actually end up creating your designs for Redbubble inside of Canva. So it's something you might want to look at for the future if um, if that appeals to you. So my store is not going to be a, uh, a niche store for this particular one. It's going to be a, um, a general art store for my uh, artwork. So I'm going to go ahead and pick something that just sort of appeals to me that I think looks cool. Uh, everything is customizable so if you don't like something like you like the design but you're not sure about the color you are able to update the color of all the um, of all the items if you don't like the background if you don't like you know whatever um, so I'm just gonna look through these really quickly I don't have a photograph that I want to use specifically so I'm looking at, at some of these with uh, more generic um, the more generic uh, you know, general type things uh, with just some abstract art or um, some simple shapes or some of these with just like a, a gradient color background. This one kind of appeals to me, but I don't know if I necessarily like all the pictures. So let's just go ahead and keep looking and see what we see. Looks like I've gotten through all the free ones. So let's go ahead and scroll back up. Most of the free ones are at the top. Um, I, I do like something with a little bit more color because I want it to stand out and be different from what everyone else has. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick one of these. I'm going to go with, I think I like this one. Um, the whole screen is editable. I can just change the picture, I can change the text, so I'm going to go ahead and just put my name. I'm going to put Doug Berg, custom artwork. Uh, let's put um, I'll put Doug Berg, custom artwork and graphic design. In fact, I think I want to see what it looks like with an ampersand. I think that looks really good. So all I have to do is click on publish, download. It's suggesting a PNG and remember that was one of the um, one of the different file formats that they suggested that we use. So I'm going to go ahead and go with PNG. You could use a JPEG and for photographs uh, sometimes you get a better quality image with the JPEG. But I'm going to use the PNG, and we'll go ahead and click that. I want the highest quality. I'll click download. It's going to prepare my design. And download dougberg.png to my downloads folder. All right, now that I've got that finished, I want to go back over to my Redbubble account. I want to edit my cover image. I want to go to my profile page. 
I'm going to click add cover image and I want to find Doug Berg. Oops, sorry, wrong folder. I want to go to my downloads and find Doug. There. Here's what we'll do. We'll go show in folder just to make sure I know where it's at. Yeah, it's in my downloads folder. Huh. All right. Let's just see. So I'll just drag and drop that over. Should upload. It's a pretty big image, so it might take a second. And now you can see that I have a custom photo uploaded for my store. You can see my avatar, my name, the location. Uh, in the next video, we'll go through and we'll create a short bio and a public profile for our Redbubble account. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll be back with you in the next one.